Hi, Dr. Jenna here today talking to you about positional vertigo or BPPV. So what is positional vertigo and more importantly, how do we fix it? So let's first go over the anatomy of the vestibular organ and then go from there. This is the vestibular system over here. It's not in the outer ear, it's in way deep in the inner ear in the temporal bone and there's one on each side, okay? And to enlarge it, here's the vestibular organ. There's three semicircular canals and fluid will go through this, okay? And there's a utricle and a saccule and these little ampullas on the sides of the semicircular canals. So in the utricle, there's this jelly-like substance that have crystals on top of it and they're called otoliths, okay? And as you lay down, the jelly-like substance will move a little bit based on how gravity's pulling you and a message will go to the brain saying we're laying down. Same thing when you sit back up, message goes to the brain, we're sitting back up. As the fluid goes through here, in the ampulla, there's like this hair-like cell called the cupola that will move with the fluid movement, okay? Same thing, a message will go to the brain at that point too, saying we're laying down, sitting back up. If everything, the crystals and the jelly-like substance and the, the uh, cupola are saying the same thing, then everybody's happy. The brain is happy, the vestibular system's working well, everybody can stay balanced and you you be able to move in space without any dizziness okay and a person that is having room spinning sensations and positional vertigo what is happening is these little crystals that are supposed to be in the utricle actually break loose and it can be from trauma from age um, you could have surgery and it cause this sometimes whiplash or being on a roller coaster ride or they call it insidious onset it just happens just because just because unfortunately so these little crystals break off here and as you lay down in space they actually go into the sem the semicircular canal okay as soon as it calms down to the bottom and you're laying down then you feel better but during that motion actually the room spins and you see the room spin it only takes a couple of seconds up to a minute for them to calm down and then they stay down here sit back up whoa the room's spinning again until you sit back up and everything's calmed down so how do we fix this positional vertigo if you have it a healthcare provider or a clinician should test for it and the gold standard test is called the dix hall pike test okay and that's they're going to sit you on a plinth turn your head to one side lay down your head's going to be over the side of the table and they're going to be supporting you and they're going to watch your eyes and what's going to happen if you have positional vertigo on the one side then the room will spin and they're going to watch what your eyes are doing and based off of what your eyes are doing and what you feel the treatment can be different and they'll take you through the treatment right there to get rid of the positional vertigo the treatment utilizes gravity to pull the crystals back where they should be. And once they're there, then the limb system will pull away the crystals that are broken off and it'll go away. Usually, research says that um, you only have to do this position, positional testing and treatment one time and then it'll go away. Usually, in my experience, it takes three to four sessions to be able to clear the crystals Get your body back to normal and balancing and not feeling any dizziness okay this is a just short video about positional vertigo if you have any questions please feel free to email me at dr jenna at advancedmotionrehab.onmicrosoft.com it was a pleasure bringing this video to you have a great day bye bye